In our top story, the Kailiche Commission of Inquiry has found serious inefficiencies in the policing of the Cape Flats. Now, this is contained in a report which will be handed over to the Western Cape Premier, Helen Ziller. Well, that commission was tasked to probe allegations of police inefficiency and a breakdown of relations with the community. Public hearings were held from January to May this year. The commission, led by Justice Kato Regan and Advocate Vusi Picoli, heard evidence from more than 100 people, including Kailicha residents themselves, police, government officials and experts. Page report includes findings that the police do not appear to conduct regular patrols of informal neighborhoods in the area. Telephones are not answered reliably at all three police stations. The commission also found that the quality of detective work in Kailicha is still very poor. The report concludes that there is a breakdown in relations between the community members and police in the area. Well, a number of recommendations have now been put that include a change of management process for leadership in the Kailicha cluster. Mm. Well, our reporter, that's Vanessa Puna, who witnessed the presentation of that report this morning, joins us on the line now from Cape Town. Good afternoon, Vanessa, and thank you once more for your time on the PM News Desk. Good afternoon. Look, this is a significant day indeed, Vanessa. Never before has a community and a civil society, of course, used our constitution to hold the police to account in this manner. Now, the Social Justice Coalition must be very pleased today. They've been one of the driving forces behind this. Yes, indeed mm. they are, and also all the other members of the public um, of Kailicha that have come out this afternoon, as you are right, you said this condition is two years in the making, has now concluded its work. Um, people were singing and celebrating inside the hall here at Lookout Hill just now, uh, shortly after um, Advocate Lucy Bacoli, as well as uh, retired Justice Kato Reagan, handed over the report uh, of almost 600 pages to the Western Cape Premier, Helen Ziller. Now, the um, commission has made it very clear that this was not a court of law, but that the commission's work really was um, or li lie in two different but important parts of the constitution. The first relating to the rights of citizens, and then the second also relating uh, to the constitutional principle, uh, whereby the exercise of all public power must be consistent with the law as well as the constitution, and to give effect to the constitutional values of accountability, responsiveness, and openness. And as you rightly said just now, the report did indeed find uh, uh, police inefficiencies um, at the three police stations in Kailicha, as well as a breakdown, but not irreparably so, between the uh, community as well as the police. And uh, a number of recommendations have been made. Uh, this will then now fall to all the spheres of government as well as intergovernmental uh, departments to work towards rectifying uh, the situation in Kailicha, but also to take it uh, beyond uh, to implement across the Western Cape. Uh, it's very important to note that both uh, the commissioners as well as the Premier upon the the, uh, the uh, report from the commissioners pointed out that this is not a so-called uh, witch hunt of police members, but rather that the most important consideration at the end of the day in assessing the report would be to improve the safety of the people uh, who live and work in the Kailicha area. The entire uh, document um, has been posted on the commission's website. So what happened this afternoon was only a hand, or rather just uh, the commissioners reading uh, 27 pages of a statement they had prepared, um, which include some of the recommendations and some of the findings regarding uh, the policing in the Kalicha area. Thank you, Vanessa. That was Vanessa Puna, the SABC's Vanessa Puna, coming to us from the Western Cape. Well, EFF